Welcome to Tikkun's Weekly Daba. My name is Rabbi Shaul Rosenblatt. This next week is uh, Pesach coming up, Passover, the Jewish holiday where we where we celebrate uh, the the uh, Exodus from Egypt, and it's it's a time of freedom. Uh, freedom is in the air. Jewish people escape from the constrictions of Egypt, and we're trying to escape from our own personal constrictions. In particular, one of the things that Jews are doing at this time of year is they are searching for chametz. They're searching for leaven. We're searching our houses. Just been slaving away in my house, in the in the kitchen and other rooms, trying to find these little crumbs of leaven and get rid of them. And um, chametz, leaven, represents slavery in Jewish thinking. It represents personal slavery. The the our our inability to uh, to do what we want to do in the face of what we feel like doing. A smoker. Smoker is, is not free. Smoker, uh, who a chain smoker, can't stop himself smoking. He doesn't want that next cigarette, but he can't stop himself from taking it, from smoking it. A compulsive eater, compulsive shopper. Can't, I, I don't want that chocolate cake. I know it's not what I want. I know it's not what I need. I know I'm on a diet. I shouldn't be eating it. And ah, just grab it and step it in my face. Just can't, can't help it. You know, I, I know that, that our, our credit cards are maxed out to the limit, that, 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 um, that our bank is, is in overdraft, every bank account we've got is in overdraft, and I can't afford to buy a thing, but I've got to have that new dress. I just can't stop myself from buying it. I don't care, we'll max it out a little bit more. It's, it's compulsions, it's, it's following our desires. That's what we call slavery in Judaism. and Judaism. And this time of year is a time where we're trying to overcome that. Now, freedom doesn't mean not ever eating chocolate cake, of course. But what it means is being able to choose not to eat chocolate cake when that's what I want to do, when, 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 when I don't want to eat it. Um, and that's what we're looking for and that's what we're searching for. So what we're doing is during this time of year, we're searching for that leaven. We're searching for those areas that we are slaves. And, and as always in Judaism, this, the physical is a guide to the spiritual. Yes, we go and we physically search it out in our homes. Of course we do. Without the physical guide, the, we wouldn't be as focused on the spiritual as we could be. But we can't forget that it's leading us towards something. And what it's leading us towards is trying to look inside of ourselves. What, what is it my desires that, that lead me as opposed to my decisions in life? Am, am, I, am I living to work or am I working to live? Do I choose to spend time with my children? Do I choose where and when I'm going to spend time with my children? Or do I procrastinate until it's too late and I can't find the time for them anymore? Do I allow my anger to get the better of me when I get frustrated? Or do I have, or am I able to maintain a little bit of perspective and, and, and allow it to pass and allow it to slip away? Am I running my life or is my life running me? And, and every one of us has our areas. Every one of us has our places where we're without control. And this is the time in the Jewish calendar where we Jews stop and examine that and see what, what are those places? What are those things? Where, where, am I, where, am I, where have I lost control of myself? And what we do is we, we, we get them all on the table. We figure out what they all are. On the day before Passover, we destroy it. We destroy that chametz. We, we say... That's it, I'm, I'm going to take control here. And, and, and for seven days, for the seven days of Passover, we live without those desires. We live without, we live in control. Passover is, is in essence in Jewish thinking, a week of living free of my addictions, a week of living free of my desires, taking control. And, and really, for somebody who, who looks at it that way and appreciates it that way and takes advantage of it, there is a tremendous amount that can be accomplished during that week. And so I say, just on a practical level, whether you're religious or not, whether you're Jewish or not, set aside some time, set aside some time in the coming week to consider where are the places that I'm out of control in my life and how can I put myself back in the driving seat? How can I put myself back in control again? It's in the air, you know. Freedom is in the air. It's springtime. Everything, everything is kind of blooming again. You look at the Blossom trees, depending on what country you're in, but if you're in England, gorgeous blossom trees right now. It's, it's, the world is sprouting back to life again. And, and us as well, we might have felt constricted and a little down over the winter. Now is the time to come back to life again. Now is the time for us to blossom ourselves. And Passover is the opportunity 
for us to break out of these things that hold us back and really blossom. Judaism often, you know, people, people feel like, well, does it work? Doesn't it work? And, and, and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. You, you, you give up before you even start and therefore, of course, it doesn't work. And so I just suggest, give it a go. Give it a go and see what happens. You never know. You never know what might work for you and what might not. Take some time this week. Try and consider two or three things, or even one thing, that you feel like you're not in control of. Your, your desires are leading you. You're not making decisions and living with them. <clears throat> and make a decision. Pesach, the day before Passover is Monday. Good day to do it. Next Monday, make a decision. I'm going to break out of this. I'm going to live without it for the week. See how it goes. See what happens. You might just find something valuable in it. And I'm confident if you do it, that you will. I wish you a um, Shabbat Shalom, a good Yom Tov, um, a good Pesach, a good Passover for those of you celebrating it. And um, if you're interested in more of these ideas or learning more about what we do at Tikkun, please log on to our website, tikkun.co.uk. Thank you.